Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lozi. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit and retouch this outdoor portrait. I hope you love this tutorial, so let's get started. Okay, first I want to retouch a little bit, then I want to color grade. So for retouching, I want to use the action, and you will get this action totally free. Link is on the description. Make sure you have subscribed me. Okay, let's use the action. It's a pretty handy action. It's easy to use and time saving. Okay, let's zoom in. Oops. Yep. I think I should decrease it a little bit. Let's use 10. I think yeah, it's fine. Okay, now press OK. And now here let's use 4. I think yeah, 4 looks fine. Okay, now press OK. And now just paint with the white brush on the skin. Okay, just paint. So let's see the before and after so you can understand. Look at this, look at this carefully. This was the before. Look at the transitions between the highlights and the shadows. Look at this, this was the before. And this is after. It's pretty easy and handy action to rate us. I love this one. I think, yeah, it's fine. Let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before, and this is after. Look at the skins. It's beautiful. Okay, I think uh, in this area the transition is not looking perfect. This area is a little bit dark. Okay, let's use the curves for this and increase the brightness. I think yeah, it will work. Now click on the mask and press Ctrl and I to inverse. Okay, you will get the shortcut in the uh, left corner, so it will be easier for you. Okay, now let's decrease the flow around, yeah, let's 2%, use 2%. Zoom in and just paint with the white foreground color on the darken areas and make the transitions later. Okay, let's see the view. Uh, before and after look at this this was the before and this is after it looks more subtle now uh, on this area maybe okay let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after it's really did a great job okay so the retouching part is done and now i want to color grade the picture and for color grading i want to use camera or filter okay to color grade i want all this layer into a single layer so for this shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to merge all the layers into a single layers and then convert it to smart object and now open it on camera or filter Okay, now come into the basics option of camera raw and I want to uh, decrease the temperature. Uh, I think minus 18, yeah, it's fine. And I want to decrease the contrast. Okay, let's increase it. Uh, I think around 15%. And then I want to decrease the highlights. So I'm giving minus 63 for highlights. Okay, that's perfect. And let's increase the white. I'm giving around 30 for white. That's good. And now I to increase the clarity. So for this, I'm giving plus 9 for clarity. And then 17 for D heads. And I want to decrease the vibrance. And I think minus 8 it's fine and increase the saturation to counter 
I think plus 12 for saturation is fine. And now coming to the curves option. And here, uh, let's, I think, yeah, it's fine for the first point and then create another point. And yeah, that's good. And the last one. I think yeah, so create a curves like this, just simple curves, just increase some brightness and some faded effect here. Okay, now come into the uh, green option. Just add just a little blue for this. Uh, I think yeah, it's fine. And now come into the blue option. Okay, uh, make this point a little bit up. I think yeah it's fine and now another point here I think yeah it's fine and the last one yeah so create a curves like this that's fine now coming to the detail option and I want to add some sharpness so I'm giving here around 30, that's fine. And press and hold Alt and I want to apply mask. So I think it's fine. Let's increase the detail a little bit. 35, yeah, it's fine. And now color noise reduction around 25 and noise reduction around 15. Yeah, it's fine. Now come to the color mixer option. And in the hue panel, let's Increase the green a little bit, plus 10 for green. And then 88 for aquas and minus 43 for blues. And I come into the saturation option. And I'd increase the saturation of reds. So plus 13 for reds. And then minus 29 for orange. minus 27 for yellow and then minus 8 for green and then minus 35 for aquas and 40 for blues that's perfect now coming to the luminance option and i want to increase the luminance of red just a little and orange for 10 uh, 10 for orange and then 5 for yellow and uh, minus 10 for green that looks good now come into the color grading option and in the highlights okay let's pick i think a little bit greenish color so 131 for hue and 14 for saturation that's good okay let's use 100 for blending okay that's good now come into the shadows option and let's use bluish color this time so 207 for hue and then 17 for saturation yeah that's good okay now now come into the camera calibration option and in the red primary let's increase the hue i'm giving i think all the way up plus 98 or 100 uh, in hue and then in the green primary i'm giving yeah look at the senses it's beautiful i'm giving uh, around 90 percent for green primary hue and the blue primary I'm giving I think minus 70 for hue and then 27 for saturation look at this it looks beautiful right okay so I think the color grading is done 
the all the things is looking perfect okay let's increase the texture just a little i think yeah it looks fine okay now press ok okay now let's see the v4 and after look at this this was the v4 the color grading and this is after the color grading it looks beautiful okay uh, now let's go to the selective color option and select our yellow and let's increase the yellow just a little and in cyan i think minus nine or seven minus seven for cyan yeah it's fine okay in case of green let's increase the black little bit so plus 10 let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after yeah it looks good okay and now i want to add a gradient map so i want to use this gradient map you will find on the legacy gradient and then the photographic toning option and this gradient sepia and tick okay now press ok and now change the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity around 10 percent so it's fine let's see the before and after yeah it looks good okay now i want to add another curves adjustment layer and just increase the highlight just a little and add a faded look look at this this was the before and this is after it creates a little bit faded effect so it's beautiful okay now i want to add gradient okay change the color to black and black hair also and style radial let's reverse it and increase the scale angle also and now press ok look at this it's beautiful but i don't want it uh, on the subject so let's click on the mask let's increase the flow and then just paint with the black brush and your subject let's decrease the flow around 36 percent and paint it here okay now if you want you can decrease the opposite a little bit i think yeah it looks fine to me this was the v4 and this is after it looks great to me uh, let's see the before and after overall this was the v4 and this is after so it looks good to me uh, i want to add some light here let's create a new layer and i want to use oops for this let's use orange color okay let's increase the flow and since the blending mode to screen for this time press ctrl and t and resize it and then place it on the corner just like this okay and create another layer and this time i have to paint with white color press ctrl and t resize it and place it on the corner like this now i need to decrease it a little and this one also i think yeah so it's depend on you actually if you want you can add some light on the corner or if you don't want then no need to add some light on this corner so uh i think yeah the editing is done let's see the before this was the before and this is the after so have you loved this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe